President Biden's embattled son, Hunter, has been embroiled in scandal after scandal, but that's not stopping him from embarking on a budding career as an artist. Not everyone is convinced, though, that he is a modern-day Picasso. Some experts say his work is wildly overpriced, with estimates as high as half a million dollars for painting, while others say Hunter is merely selling on the Biden name. Let's take it all up with The Hill media columnist, Joe Concha. Joe, good evening to you. Hey, Jackie, how's it going? Everything is going so far so good, but I'm going to give you something here um, and get your reaction on the other side because this is going to be, I, I think, interesting. I want you to listen to Hunter Biden on his art career and the prices and, and what he thinks about all of this. You seem to have a good spirits about, you know, this sort of kind of crazed narrative around your, your painting. You know, I mean, how do you, yeah. you know, what's your response to the people who are, you know, coming after like the prices of the work? Other than <laughs> them, <laughs> I never said my prices, my art was going to cost what it was going to cost or how much it would be priced at. Mm -hmm. I'd be amazed, um, you know, if my art had sold, uh, you know, for, um, for, for $10. Seriously? What kind of language is that, Joe? <laughs> Right. Oh, I love the host, by the way. Oh, what do you think about this whole crazed narrative around this? Uh, yeah, because basically everybody from the left and right no, no, yeah, uh, we're thinks crazy. that this is a, a huge disaster. Exactly. It, it may be President Biden can drive his 18-wheeler over to yes. Hunter's gallery, Jackie. <laughs> Deliver the priceless art to those buyers paying $500,000 to a first-time artist. And it bears repeating that one of the critics here is the former White House ethics chief under the Obama-Biden administration, right? His name's Walter Schaub. And he said, quote, the White House has outsourced government ethics to an art dealer. That's an industry that's notorious for money laundering. There's no standards in that industry. And, and again, what first-time artist since, you know, Da Vinci uh, gets 500000 for a painting? Actually, I don't know if a single one. Down, if it were me. Right, from heaven. If it were yeah. me, I wouldn't command that kind of price tag. And, and you're right. A lot of people are questioning this and essentially saying this really, it's not about art at all. No, no. This is about selling off the family name as Hunter Biden has done time and again to enrich himself and his family. And he knows he could get away with it because, as you saw during that interview, this is an apathetic or even cheerleading media yawning as it happens. Imagine if this was Donald Trump Jr. or Eric Trump. It would be oh, the apocalypse. It. And by the way, Jackie, the hubris of Hunter Biden, as you said, to be speaking in that way or to be writing books or to be selling art, it's like he has protection from the mob. He can't be whacked oh, because yeah. the Biden Justice Department, his dad will make sure of that, believe me. Uh, it's a gall if you ask me. And listen, you know that you've got a problem when even the folks at CNN are catching on. Yeah, uh, a panel talked about that recently. He said, well, this could be a problem for Hunter Biden. Yeah, you think so? Uh, so, but w what's going to happen, though? In other words, if, yeah. Joe, I actually go want to play a clip of that mm -hmm. panel so the viewers can see this. It's, it's too good. Go. Oh, great. Yeah, go ahead. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. I am not an art critic. I don't know anything about <laughs> art. Obviously, this is a problem, an ethical problem, one of optics, but also just from a practical perspective. <laughs> this is a huge optics problem, an ethics problem, and making it more challenging is that it is art and the value is assigned. All right, so even they're saying it. Yeah, and you know what's missing there? The whole, this is a chilling threat to democracy, that the Trump family is taking advantage of their name in order to, you, you remember mm. when everybody oh, yeah. talked about uh, <laughs> the Trump's way back when. So that was a friendly kind of criticism, but 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 that's the way that worked. But, but again, I, I just feel so sorry for Da Vinci, who's probably looking down right now, Jackie from heaven, and saying, I got a five lira for my first painting, and now yeah, this guy get $500,000. So, and then where's the money gonna go, by the way, right? I mean, I guess you, you gotta make a living, guy. I suppose, but uh, again, this guy gets away with it time and again, but and you just get the feeling that uh, even everything that happened with Burisma and his dealings with the Chinese, uh, it's going to be looked into, and it's going to be eh, nothing to see here, and, and we move on, and that, that's a shame now, isn't it? Right, and for example, you talk about those other issues and what's been found on the laptop. If that was Don Jr.'s laptop, we would be doing a whole other impeachment trial here. Oh, that's a very good point. But instead, the laptop is reported by the Washington, I'm sorry, the New York Post, uh, who actually has the emails, has the goods, and Facebook censors the story. If you shared the story on Facebook, your account was suspended. And then only months later, Facebook says, yeah, maybe we made a mistake. And it's revealed that, oh, yeah, Hunter Biden is under investigation by the FBI for what they called tax issues. So only after the election did anybody do anything resembling a mea culpa because Hunter's 
father got over the finish line, and that was the only thing that mattered. But when that story was spiked, when it was censored yeah. in October, that was one of the low points for media that you will ever see because we've never seen anything like that before. Actual censorship of a story that actually had emails. It wasn't even a he said, she said, yeah. you know, kind of rumor, anonymous source type of thing, Jackie. Joe Concha, always great to see you.